Hi everybody, welcome to Craft Daily. I'm Mark Lipinski, and today I'm going to teach you about prairie points. Oh yeah, baby, get ready because we're going to the plains and the prairies of quilting. What you do here is really simple. Remember the last time we had to make sure our back was one length, our batting was another length, our top was another length? Not so when you're putting a binding on with prairie points. What you have to do, however, is you're working from the back this time. Yep, you're working from the back, and you're putting your prairie points on what you would consider opposite. So how your prairie points would look on the front of the quilt. So, if, you know, generally when we do stuff like this, you would put it on backwards, right? But not this time. When you're using a, putting on prairie points with a binding, uh, you have to put it so you want your prairie points to look on the front of your quilt. So, that's how I'm doing that. So, take a look. And just like the last time, we're going to see how our prairie points line up based on just uh, sticking them down. This should be pretty easy to do. So there we go. So we have five prairie points there. That works, right? That works. Some of them are overlapping. Some are, they should all kind of be overlapping, overlapping. And we're not paying any attention to this. This is just a sample. All we're worried about is this side, how to do it. And this is how we do it. 